When you look at the ocean or at a pond, you may not think of alternative energy. Yeah, this is a, is a mix of, uh, of uh, pond scum turning into cash. But where some just see green stuff floating in water. So we're one of these companies that's trying to produce energy products from algae. There are businesses out there seeing green profit potential. Los Angeles-based FICO Systems is one of many companies working to turn ordinary algae into a potential cheap source of oil. The federal government says it knows about two dozen firms are working on this. It's awarded seven research grants to algae companies. And algae are the fastest growing plants on the planet. They're capable of extraordinary growth rates per acre, which means from a biofuel standpoint, they use the least land and they can produce the most product uh, uh, on the least impact in competition with other uh, uh, uses of land. Algae is also carbon neutral. It feeds on carbon dioxide, the gas which warms up our atmosphere, and sunlight. It all sounds promising. The question is how soon will this become reality? And? It is whether or not they can be, that can be done economically anytime in the near future. And Dave Karen is a biology professor at the University of Southern California and an algae expert. He's consulting for Michaels' company. Algae will grow. The trick is in getting that biomass or the oil from that biomass out and into a form that can be either used for fuel or made into something that can be used as fuel. This is a time-lapse shot provided by another Los Angeles algae energy firm, Origin Oil. The company says it's figured out a way to cheaply crack the algae cell and release its oil. And we've now got it as a single pass cost effective process. They can't give away the secrets of this device, but CEO Riggs Eckleberry says this is a machine which pumps gas through the water in algae. About an hour later, you can skim oil off the top. They're also researching ways to produce algae in brewery style vats with the aid of a bioreactor, colored rods which provide the tiny plants light to grow. So that the system can be run 24 hours a day. It will not be dependent only on sunlight. Most open pond systems, uh, you know, which are popular for algae, run only during the day because that's when the algae can grow and photosynthesize. Origin Oil says the end result could be to help wean the nation off fossil fuels, a top goal for the White House. But what's going to happen is oil for the first time is going to have a competitor. It's not going to be the OPEC cartel against the rest of the world. It's going to be oh, there's all these petroleum producers, and then there's local fuel production in all these countries, including the U.S. The other big challenge, they need consumer preferences to shift to cleaner sources of energy. And from the perspective of why we're all doing this, all of the fuels that we make and all of the energy products have no net impact on the atmosphere in terms of greenhouse gases. But these entrepreneurs are not deterred. John Moon, The Associated Press, Los Angeles.